Good evening, I'm Ann Emanuel. The state's pandemic unemployment benefits are set to end soon. This, as the governor says, the state will no longer accept the federal funds. This comes as a new report says this decision will cost the state millions. Fox 23's Quintus Jones takes a closer look in our top story. Good evening. The federal pandemic unemployment benefits helped many families stay afloat. Well, they will end Saturday, hitting more than 70,000 people in Mississippi. Meanwhile, a new report from the Joint Economic Committee in Congress says ending these benefits will cost the state more than $300 million. The report says, quote, by ending these programs early, states are refusing already appropriated federal dollars that could be spent in local groceries, restaurants, and retail shops. The governor based his decision on a huge worker shortage in our state. We spoke to two restaurant owners to see how hard it is to find workers these days. We've never seen an employment situation like the one we're experiencing right now. We're banking on when the college students from out of town, from your Alcorns, your Jackson State, your Mississippi, uh, Mississippi State, Ole Miss come home for the summer, that they're all looking for opportunities and we're, we're hoping to give them the opportunities. Now, no word from the governor on this new report, but he has stood firm on ending these unemployment benefits. Quinny Jones, Fox 23 News, Hattiesburg.